Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com, a new Windows 10 build to look at. This is 19551 for Windows Insiders on the fast ring. And I've got that installed here on a Hyper-V uh, machine on my Surface Laptop 2. Not a huge amount to show you in this uh, build. Um, incidentally, if you want to look at older builds, you can go back to on our YouTube channel and on the digitallifestyle.com and I've got Windows 10 hands-on builds of all the major builds of Windows 10 right back to the very first betas so if you're interested in looking at how Windows has progressed make sure you check out that anyway back to this build the one significant change is an experiment with optional updates I don't have any optional updates so if I did they would appear here so they won't get automatically in installed so any drivers that are flagged as optional by Windows don't automatically get installed they'll appear here as optional uh, updates and you that will say view optional updates and then you will be able to then uh, install them uh, from there so this experiment's running from now till the 5th of March and they did try this briefly out in the 20H1 builds as well so uh, it's interesting to see how that experiment continues. Right, the rest of the changes, like I said, are all fairly minor. There um, is a fix for the snipping tool not working on secondary monitors. They've um, fixed an issue with optimised drives in the control panel. They fixed an issue causing remote desktop to crash when you go to multiple sessions and uh, they fix a server side issue causing the narrator to crash as well. Uh, there's fixed issue with language settings and some Outlook pasting, uh, data into Outlook, and they fix an issue where uh, a language, and they fix a language issue as well. They've also fixed an issue where the safely remove icon was sometimes white, so uh, on light theme, so you know, if it pops up down here, you can safely remove the hardware. It was kind of white on light theme, and you wouldn't be able to see it's there. So that's actually all the, the changes with this build. There are still some uh, open known issues. Familiar and old one, BattleEye anti-cheat software, uh, still a compatibility issue with that. And one that's been around for a couple of builds is, is Narrator and NVDA um, using Ed, the new Edge. Uh, cloud recovery option isn't working. That's probably quite a, an important one. So you've got to use your local recovery option. And um, they're still seeing reports of the build process hanging for extended periods of time. I actually did see that on this machine. It stuck on 100%. And they'll sort of the the final the first reboot stage 100 percent you stuck on it for a long time and then rebooted stuck on zero percent and then rolled back and I had to try it again so maybe that's that bug. Um, they've also still got the USB three uh, start code drives. There's a couple of install uh, errors you can find those on the release notes on the digitallifes.com and um, there's still an issue with documents. Uh, section under privacy has got a broken icon so that's all the changes with this build and not a huge amount to show you but like you said you can go back on our youtube channel and look at all the builds right back to the very first builds of windows 10 so thanks for watching this video you can find me on twitter at istixon see you on the next one